Before we start today's video, I want to share with you this month's pick from Dossier. This is the brand I've been sharing with you for almost two years now. They're an awesome brand that takes well-known and popular fragrances and recreates them for a more realistic price. And they do it so well, a lot of the fragrances are practically identical. It's really awesome. This month, I picked up the Floral Aldehydes, which is inspired by the famous Chanel No. 5. I picked this up to be a gift, and just like the original, you have notes of aldehydes, neroli, bergamot all the way down to base notes of vetiver and sandalwood. It's going to make for an awesome gift, which I also want to remind you too, we're about to enter the holiday gift giving season. I love this time of year and these make for awesome gifts. Seriously, every person who I've gifted a fragrance to has loved it so much. So give that some thought for sure. I will have a link to their shop in the description. Head over there and check them out. Now though, on to today's episode. Today we're going to be going over the Blumon Thick Hair Control System. This is a system that we have talked about a ton on the channel, so I'm not going to dive too deep into the products and the system itself. It's just original by Blumon and Cavalier Clay. Both are products that I have covered extensively here. But the thing that I was curious about is how this system would work on my thicker and longer hair. My hair is probably the longest it's been at this point. So I wanted to see how this system would react to it, and after trying it out, I came up with a few few tips that I could offer you guys who might think this can't work for you because your hair is too long. Have no fear, as usual, Mike is here and I got a few tips for you, so let's dive into that now. It's a basic pre and post styling scenario, so I'm going to start with freshly washed hair. And while it's still damp, I'm going to add in the original and here's where my first tip is going to come in. Don't use more product just because you have more hair. This product is very strong and you might think, well, I have more hair, I need more product. And that's true to an extent, but don't immediately jump into a huge scoop just because you got a lot of hair. Start with moderate scoops and work it in. I think you'll be surprised at actually how much you need to really feel like you've coated your hair and how much you don't need really. After that, we're going to hit it with the heat. I'm directing everything back, but you can do whatever you want at this stage. The idea is to begin the style you are wanting and using tools like a comb or a brush is really great for directing the hair as well as straightening things out if you need that like I do there at the end with those curls. And then that heat also really activates the product, so to speak, to lay down that foundation that really helps control that thick hair. Now that we're done with that though, it's time to add in the Cavalier. And the same tip applies here too. Don't immediately jump into a ton of product. But for this one, I'm actually gonna go a step further with my second tip and say use tiny, tiny amounts when it comes to using the clay. What I'm doing here essentially is I'm adding in the same amount of product, but I'm doing more applications with small amounts. So I'm actually using the same amount of product I normally would, but I'm just doing it in smaller increments. I found that this really helps gauge how your hair is responding to the product and it helps prevent it from getting all stuck in one place and totally gumming it up, which if you have longer hair, you know, is a definite possibility. I'd also recommend you focus on certain spots at a time. For example, I'm focusing really first on the sides to make sure they stay down, which is a problem area for me. After that, I'll focus on the top and get that where I want it using a combination of comb and brushwork along with some finger combing there at the end. Speaking of the end, this is the end result that we get, something that's held together with the strength of both products, but not suffering. In other words, I could still move it around if I want, and it's not overloaded with product. It's not looking like it's just filled with a, a gel or an oil base where it's all coated with product and just stuck together. It's got a sense of movement there, but it's also going to stay put based on the strength of the products when combined with each other. But that's pretty much it. That's my tips on using the thick hair control system from Blumon with longer hair. I also want to add to that even if you don't have longer hair, this will still work for you. This will work for anyone who struggles to get hold and endurance out out of their style. And if you want to check this out for yourself, you can use my code. It's just my name, Mike at the Bloom on site there. Put it in the coupon box. Save yourself some money on your next order. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel and checking this out with me. If you'd be so kind as to drop me a like and a comment, I'd very much appreciate it. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that. That's a huge help to me. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.